this is a conversation for the problem solving course and we're here with Bethany and the young mathematician <laughs> <laughs> hey I, I'm Maria so um, Bethany <coughs> tough question right away <laughs> when, when it comes to kids and math <coughs> what are your dreams what it's really all about that is tough let's see um I guess I love it. The problem solving aspects, I love, and I want to bring that joy to them. Um, I don't know. It's also a discipline of mind, I think. A discipline uh, of mind? Yeah. I think it serves the person well. I, I don't think it stays contained just within um, <laughs> math. I don't know. I think it, <laughs> it kind of expands to other things. Hey, it. Hang on just a second. Okay. Okay. There. Daddy's going to take our... <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay. And we have, we have one, the, our oldest son is uh, really advanced in math. So for him, yeah, he loves it. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, tell me more about this discipline thing. If it works right, how do you know? How do it, does it look like? Oh, that's a good question. I guess the ability to think logically, um, think through things in a rational way, you know, what makes sense? What patterns do we see? You know, I mean, you could really do that, I guess, in any discipline you're kind of trying to do that, is find the patterns, what things apply, that kind of thing. And I don't know, I feel like you develop that the most. It is kind of mathematics. Um, just because, I mean, it, it's almost like it's in its purest form there. So the logic and the patterns are the most pure, even though you could do it in other areas, but in math, it's the essence of it. Right, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, you want the kids to develop that same appreciation of, the, of these tools as you have, right? Right. Or maybe... Well, we always want kids to come to to come far, even below, you know, even beyond us. <laughs> right? Yeah, that for sure. So yeah, that would be okay. So, um, how uh, you said your oldest son is advanced? So, how did you go about it so far? How? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of flailing around because <laughs> he's still pretty young, you know, and so trying to tailor things to a six-year-old or not too long ago, a five-year-old was interesting. <laughs> so, um, we, I don't know, we just, I just pull from a lot of different things or make up problems, you know, that kind of thing. We've used uh, like the Caro's primary math challenge and Life of Fred and East County, uh, these kinds of things. Um, we're starting. We're using that uh, uh, Mobius Noodles book. I found that recently. That I found out about this, um, and that's been good too because also my four-year-old enjoys that a lot. So, okay, so you can play together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, glad glad to hear this. It was fun to to make this book in groups like this too. <laughs> so. Now we're making another one together. Right, exactly. <laughs> right on. <laughs> okay. So um, I am really looking forward to your ideas in, in, in this book. <laughs> it looks like you, you play around and you are playful in how you approach things, and that's important. <laughs> that's, that's how we try to make it. Because the way I, when, when I studied math, it was like, these problems and you learn the algorithm and then you do the algorithm you know 150 times or something and so I thought I hated math and then I didn't find out what math really was until I was an adult and it was like oh that well I love that <laughs> <laughs> I guess I love math I didn't even know it so yeah so I try to be playful with it how did you discover that love of math who let you in on the secret it's beautiful and interesting uh, how did um I think I think it might have been when I read Lockhart's Lament. Someone sent that to me, and I was like, really? And then I found out that um, 
this, we had taken this exam in school, and I did well on it, but I didn't know what it was. I had never heard of it since. But now, I, I, then it was called, like, the American High School Math Exam, which I guess is now called the AMC. And, um, and I loved that. And the way I found out what it was called now is I ask someone, I go, what was that math test we took that was so fun that we never <laughs> did anything like that again? <laughs> AMC has, um, well, people who put it together love math. <laughs> so, which I can't, unfortunately, say about all the tests out there. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> But uh, this is a test that people who really, really love math put together. So we actually, we actually, well, um, your kids may be a bit young, but maybe not. We we have AMC problems as a part of the course. Oh, that's uh, interesting. I'll see if I can adapt them to the ages. <laughs> right. So uh, James selected some some of his favorites to go with the problem solving techniques. Oh, okay, great. And he worked them out kind of with hints and step by step, just appreciation parts he shared what he loved about them <laughs> that's really cool so i don't know if you looked at the first problem set or not uh, yet do you know what i'm talking about uh no we haven't we haven't brought it back up yet we've been on my husband's on been on vacation from work so it's been wild right. <laughs> okay uh so we sent out the first uh, three groups of problems okay uh, great And there are younger versions, but an older version is from this set you like. So all right, <laughs> we'll have to open all right. it up tomorrow when we get back. Yeah, so maybe you can adopt these older ones for young kids or have fun yourself, whatever. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. So that's what we do this week. We look at those three problems, and by Sunday everybody's planning them, planning what you want to do. Okay, perfect. Well, then this is good timing because he goes back to work tomorrow. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> okay. That's our regular. Okay. And um, I want to ask you, I mean, you seem happy and balanced with mathematics. You, you seem uh, <laughs> having, like having a good time with the kids. So what do you hope to get out of the course? What do you hope Me to learn? Me personally or what? Well, y you, together okay. with kids, it's however you want to take this question. Um, I'm hoping to see it, to use it as kind of developing, first of all, the ability to uh, create these playful problems or adapt these problems to do with the kids. Um, that's what I hope to get out of it. And I just enjoy it. I mean, I think I would enjoy it just by myself, <laughs> even if they weren't doing it. So for me, it's just something I enjoy anyway. So, if I hear you right, good times and... <laughs> <laughs> good times and, yeah, and I guess uh, more skill development in teaching math. <laughs> um, I've been doing this uh, co conversations, the interviews pre-course or conferences, and people smile so much and laugh. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's just happy times. Well, some people are serious when they talk about serious issues, but... Right. Uh, Overall, <laughs> you would you would think we're watching comedy and we are talking about problem solving. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess it's just the uh, uh, let's see what would I call it. Yeah, just the American way of meeting new people. <laughs> Smile and oh. laugh a lot. <laughs> well, that too, no, but there are people from all over the world. We just love mathematics that much, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, so there, we pretty we have a pretty international audience actually for this one. Oh, that's great. So, so there are people from US, uh, from Canada, Saudi Arab Arabia, uh, Russia. Um, what was else? Um, I think um, a few more countries. I can't remember just now. Romania. So oh, it's it, yeah, it's pretty cool to see um, that. Maybe we'll make a little map towards the end. Yeah, who, who, that would be interesting. Who who are where are the problems in the world? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, are, are you going to work with your kids or invite friends or what? Um, I was just going to work with my kids. I guess there's an outside chance. Um, we might invite. Uh, there are people in this area that approach math the way we do, and um, 
I don't know. And <laughs> I mean, they have lots of friends, but I don't. It might be tough for me to get their parents to do that. You know, I'm not sure. We'll see. There's one friend we might be able to get to come over, but it will at least be my two boys and myself. You can try maybe uh, inviting someone for once, seeing how it ha- how it goes. That's a good idea. Yeah, experiment with it. Or if you if your kids really like a problem, if you are meeting, having a play date, you can share it. That's a good idea. Yeah. Just try, see what happens. Uh, I'm just trying to encourage people to share because you you know you see how different kids do it, so it's yeah interesting too for adaptations. <laughs> <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, uh th- this is wonderful. These are wonderful dreams. <laughs> Joyful dreams. And um now that my questions are somewhat answered or at least the, the beginning of the answers, right? Are there uh what would you like to ask something now that we're talking about the course I problems? Think, I guess I don't have any questions yet. I might later as we get started, but we'll dive in. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Well, um, you can pose questions to everybody on that forum that okay. we have for the course, and that's what it's for. And I hope people do it so there is, t- so everybody gets to meet everybody. <laughs> and kind of like an international community of math lovers. That would be <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and so, and if you if you have a technical question or something you want to know just for yourself, you can always uh, ask me or James uh, where they are. Um, okay. And uh, you, you have my Skype, uh, yeah. Gmail, everything. Okay, yeah. so just any time, if something glitches or doesn't work, let me know. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. But uh, mostly I think it will be about problems. So this week, just plans, and next week, the stories of how we do it. All right. Looking forward to it. <laughs> this will right be great, on. great for summer. It's very hot here, so good to be inside and have something to do. <laughs> play play with math inside. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to stop the recording. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks.